Where was I? Oh, yes. Shreveport Security Systems text line 318-392-1884, and it's there for you, Mm -hmm. not you guys. Oh, look who's here. Do the introduction. (laughs) Brian Hammonds is the uh, crew of Centaur Captain. Captain. Yes, ma'am. And it's this Saturday. It's already time. Yes. Um, four o'clock start Lake Street. Four thirty. Four thirty. Okay. Four thirty starts at Lake Street right there at Southport. Bigger than it's ever been P- as pardon, usual. Pardon right? me. Pardon me just a second. Let me rephrase the question you just asked. Okay. What was your question again? Bigger than. Bigger ever. than ever. You look awful. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, it's early. That I is only, not nice. I only take that to mean that you have been working feverishly yes. and nonstop. For months and months and months. Yes. Even not only yesterday, not only last night, but later today, you are sacrificing your well-being so that the people of this community can have, and correct me if I'm wrong, the greatest centaur parade in history. That's right. That's right. You know, it's a it's a year-round. We work year-round. That's question, my <laughs> yeah. friends. Yeah, we, we really do. Um, it's not just show up one weekend, throw this together. We've been working on really working on the floats since the end of the parade last year, um, redoing them, um, fixing them, painting you know, I, I, them. I, I, I'm not involved directly with, with any of the crews, and I hear those stories, and I've heard people in the crews tell me that, that literally the day after the parade, you start planning, that you're, you're out there, that, that the literal construction begins within weeks, if not days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we've already got, which we plan out for the next three years out, you know, what our theme is. Uh, people are already designing their floats, you know, that what's going to go on at three years from now. So tell us about this year. A, 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 uh, a lot, of, lot of people are worried about the weather, Brian. And um, I'm looking at it now. It yeah, says morning yeah. storms. That's a yeah. good thing. Um, we've been talking to people with the uh, National Weather Service and everything like that. We really think it's going to be a front line that's going to push in, hopefully, through the night, Friday night, and be out of here early Saturday morning. What is your rain plan? Y'all bump to Sunday? Is that No. The, no? no, we roll. You roll regardless. Yes, it does not matter. We've rolled in the snow. We've rolled in the sleet. We've rolled in the rain. How many, uh, how many throws do you have this year? Uh, probably this year, it's well well over 3 million throws. That's oh. just what we get in our throw packages. That doesn't include what everybody goes out and buys on their own. Mm-hmm. So tell me about the theme. Tell me about the floats. What Centaur you, Rocks. What are you the most proud of? Um, the most proud of? Um, probably my members. You know, the way everybody comes together. If you, When you all see these floats... You know, we build these. We don't pay anybody to do this. Our members get together with their float lieutenant. They come up with the design, and they're there every weekend during the week constructing and painting these floats. When you see some of these floats that are going to roll Saturday, you're going to be like, wow. That's pretty awesome. Brian, let me – I know there's been a couple of changes for the folks who are going to go. I know one of them is no motorized, like – Four wheelers yes. on the parade route. That's new this year, that, right? That that is that is new this year. Um, it's just been a real problem in the past. I know everybody loves to come out with their four wheeler and golf cart and side by side and go down the road and see their friends and all of that. But you, you know, our police, you know, thank God for them. We, we love the Shreveport Police Department, the state police, everybody that helps us put on this parade. But it's too much for them to deal with. Mm-hmm. They've got other stuff they're having to worry so about. What are those penalties, if any? I mean, um, how, from what I understand Cause, cause um, you know, not everybody's gonna know i don't yeah. know about that I, I think at first they're gonna tell them you know put it up they don't put it up i'm sure they're gonna write them a ticket and after that i'm sure they're gonna impound it because a lot of those people are driving drive. around on the golf carts and they're drinking yeah uh, yeah and yeah. you know that could be dangerous for yeah, the youngsters it, it, could, it could be and it's not just our parade um it, it's come to be the crew of highland parade too the highland mm-hmm. parade is the the police have done the city have done the same thing no motorized vehicles like that i'm gonna do um, you a the, favor today oh brother because um you know i'm the queen of lighting and on <laughs> shreveport barksdale <laughs> Some of the street lights are out. Yes. I know you guys need light. Yes. When you get to Shreveport Barksdale, you need light. Yes, we do. Please fix the lights, City of Shreveport. And on Uri Drive, I'll give you a heads up. 32 of the lights between Kings Highway and the Juvenile Justice Complex are out. We've got thousands and thousands of guests coming to our city on Uri Drive. How about we fix those lights? Not that I was counting them, she FYI. Makes an interesting point about thousands and thousands. Mm-hmm. Sort of a two-part question. One, how many people do you really expect? And Um, what about the economic impact of your parade and the others on this community? This is a 
big deal. Economic impact from um, from the two weekends of what I call the two major parades that happened in downtown Shreveport um, is close to twenty million dollars. What in two weekends? Wow. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you have people come in. The, um, all the hotels are booked. There, there's not a hotel room, um, from my understanding, available in downtown Shreveport. That's the casinos, that's the Hilton, the Remington, all the others surrounding it. Um, How many it, people are you looking at being on the parade? Um, this good year? good weather. We could probably expect 400,000 people. Mm. It's about what we had. Two years ago, it was perfect weather, and they estimated it close to 500,000 people. Half okay. a million okay. a lot of people, man. Yeah. The middle school midway area around East Kings, mm -hmm. where parents let their middle schoolers go and just have fun, and they're going to be safe. And they find gummy bears with special sauce on them. Mm -hmm. What's your advice to parents who think, you know, it's okay, they're 13, whatever. Gosh, it's hard, Brian. Um, yeah, it, it is. Um, it, it's always been a problem um, with the underage drinking um, at Mardi Gras everywhere. New Orleans, mm -hmm. Homa, um, it, it doesn't matter where it is. Um, 21's the legal drinking age. Um, parents, you know, that's, that's the last thing the police need to worry about when they're trying to keep everybody else safe is a bunch of kids underage drinking, having to call their parents, get their parents to come pick them up, everything like that. Just, um, just don't do it. Yeah, absolutely. Parade rolls 430, 430. Lake Street, Clyde yes. Fant Parkway, same route coming same down route. Parkway. You got the family area on the parkway yep. too. Um, uh, pretty much all of Clyde Fant Parkway, um, from my understanding this year is a family zone. Um, it'll have signs up, family zone, no alcohol, um, and they, they will be enforcing that.